All right, geometry students, let's look at unit one, lesson 20. And this one is going to focus on transformations, transversals, and proof. Our goals are, I can prove alternate interior angles are congruent, and I can prove corresponding angles are congruent. So in this one, we're going to learn what an alternate interior angle is and what corresponding angles are, and then we're going to go about the job of proving them to be equal. So first we need to learn what these words are. So alternate interior angles are angles on opposite sides of a transversal on inside of parallel lines, but on different parallel lines. So here, what we have is we have two parallel lines in black and we have a transversal in blue. So alternate interior angles would be like angle five and angle four, where they are both on the inside of the parallels, but they are on opposite sides of the transversal and they're on different parallel lines. Corresponding angles are angles in the same location on two different parallel lines sharing a transversal. So in this look, we again have our parallel lines and our transversals. Two and six are in the exact same spot. Both are on top of the parallels and they are on the right side of the transversal. So two and six would be considered corresponding. Transversal line, line cutting through other lines making angles. So one thing to think about is I showed you two and six, I showed you four and five, but there are multiple pairs of alternate interior angles in parallels with transversals, and there's multiple corresponding angles. So your job is to try and figure out which ones are which and how to prove them to be equal. So our warm up that you're going to bring to class uh, to tomorrow is lines L and M are parallel. So in all figures, L and M are parallel. That's automatic. Mentally evaluate the measure of angle X in each figure. So in figure A, we have angle 40 here. I want to know how big is angle X there. Figure B, we have angle 61 here. I want to know how big is angle X. In figure C, we have angle 98. Please find angle X there. And figure D here is 125. Angle X is over here. Your job is to figure out how big these angle X's are, use any of your knowledge that you have, and then our answers will start our discussion for tomorrow. Thanks.